Grouse hunting to me was going up north on a Friday night as a kid, sticking my hand out the window and feeling the cool autumn breeze, watching the stars with this warm little puppy on my lap. It was an adventure. It was something new for a brief moment in my life. Fast forward 15 years later, and here I am, with two of my own English setters, learning how to grouse hunt all over again. I feel like I shot everything except a grouse that first season. I was frustrated, and I couldn't help but ask myself, what was I doing wrong? So for my third year, I decided to go back to the places that ultimately made me the bird hunter I am now. The places where I shot my first birds over my first dog. We built this cabin. Wow, dude. Looks good, man. Trip down memory lane. And over the years, not only did I grow up, but the woods did too. And with that, the birds had pushed out. And over the years of hard work, uncertainty, and doubt, when all the little pieces of the puzzle finally come together, there may be no better moment in a bird hunter's life than that first point. Dead bird, dead bird, good girl, get it, good girl, yeah, good girl, good girls, good bird girls, good girls, good girls, good girls, good girls. Good girls. This was only a brief high in my bird hunting journey. I thought for once maybe I was doing something right and I had high expectations for the following year. Little did I know, it would be my toughest yet. Hey, uh, come here, here, Cora, here. Yeah, yeah. Come on, good girl. Torrential downpours in 102 degree October okay. weather okay. ruined my weekend hunts. Cora. Where are you going? No. But it was more than that. I still wasn't hunting the proper spots. And once again, I found myself down and frustrated with myself. But in the final moments of that season, a sign of hope, a beautiful point in the snow, my heart raced, my ears listened for a flush, and my eyes desperately looked for a bird in the snow. But I found nothing. No way was I giving up that easy. Five years of doing the best I could. The answer was simple. I needed some help. So I joined a local Rough Grouse Society chapter. And just like that, before I knew it, I made some friends. I don't know why it took me so long to do this. Once again, grouse hunting became fun, it became an adventure, and it was exciting. And with all the laughter, adventures, and weekend fun, 
also came the birds. And not just one, but many. But this isn't the end. It is only the beginning to the next chapter in my bird hunting journey. And I have never looked more forward to a season than the next. <laughs>